Today, I'm going to share with you the six steps I went through to get a car through the FAIR car rental program, which is offered in partnership with Uber. And stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you my number one recommendation when you go through this process. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy. And today we're going to talk about getting a car through the FAIR car rental program. So the program that I uh, went through is offered right now in California and throughout the year it's going to be spreading out to other parts of the country but right now it's only available in California but it is a pretty dynamite program and I was excited to give it a try so let me break this down for you let's get it so step number one is finding a car and you can do that by going onto the fair uh, app you can download the app and put it on your phone and then you can use the app to find a car now I had a little bit of trouble finding a car because there are in a lot of demand um, so it took me a few days but fair has recently come up with a wait list program so if you know you're gonna want a car in the next week go to the app and indicate which station you want to uh, pick up your car at and then it'll tell you it's gonna be two to five days and then they're gonna contact you and say we got a car for you and you can go in and pick it up so finding the car is step number one Step number two is reserving the car, and that's actually paying the deposit that you're going to need. It's a $185 refundable deposit, and you can make that payment right on the app. So it's actually very simple. Find the car, then you got to go and make a deposit for the car, and then the next step, you got it. We're going to go pick up that car. Now, step number three is pretty cool because since Fair is working in partnership with Uber, right? Um, you get a free ride. You get a free ride to go get your car. <clears throat> so you just contact FAIR and you can call them at this customer service number I'm showing you on the screen right now and say, I'm going to go pick up my car. Can you schedule a ride for me? And they'll do it. A car will come. You'll get a, a contact information on your, on your phone through messages, through a text, and then they come and pick you up. It's not a shared ride. It's not a pool. You just go straight on through. So uh, I, re I really like that because I had a long ride because I went from San, San Bruno all the way over to Oakland and that would have been a 30 to $40 ride. And I will even say that when I brought the car back, um, I, they gave me a ride back. So I got a ride back from Oakland all the way back over to San Bruno. So good on you fare. That's a great, uh, great feature. So step number four is actually going and getting your car. So when I arrived um, at the fare uh, kind of a warehouse um, there's a sandwich board so I knew I was in the right place and there are all a bunch of cars there and you tell them you're there because you scheduled to pick up a car they'll show you the car you take a look at it um, in my case a woman went around with a video camera and and you know showed the car she wanted to make sure that it was really clear what condition it was in in my case it was in excellent condition it only it was a Hyundai Elantra and it only had about 35,000 miles on it so it was pretty new pretty newish kind of car um, and that's it pick your car and then uh, then you got to head on out step number five before you head on out make sure that they get your car on the uber app right in my case I didn't do that I did not so learn from my mistake I just left and I just assumed it would get put on the app in my case, it didn't get put on the app right away, and I had to wait a little bit before it got added. So my recommendation to you is in this step, when you're there with the people from FAIR, make sure before you leave that that car is on your Uber app, because if it's not on the Uber app, you're not going to be able to drive it, right? So make sure it's on the Uber app before you head on out onto the road. And step number six is contact uber and let them know that you have a fair vehicle so that you're entitled to the bonus structure which is offered by uber when you have a fair vehicle so it is a pretty sweet bonus only 70 rides and you get 185 dollars so that essentially covers your your payment for your car the total payment for the car in my case was 185 dollars plus tax which came out to about 202 dollars so just by doing 70 rides you can do that in like three days, really. Um, then your car is paid for. And if you do, uh, if you do 120 rides, you get a $305 bonus. So you want to make sure Uber knows 
you've got the fare vehicle. So I just sent them through the mess through the app, um, through support, to notify them that I had the car, and then I was able to get those bonuses. You want to make sure and get those bonuses because that's a really sweetheart part of the deal. So in summary, the biggest lesson is be proactive. So when you're there at fair, make sure you get that uh, that car put on your app. And then you make sure in step number six, you make sure that Uber knows that you have the car so that you get the bonus. You do those two things and you're a good. And in my next video, I'm going to share with you what it was like driving the car uh, for the first week and, uh, you know, my opinion about it. So be sure and check out that video. Now, for those of you that think this is a pretty cool plan and you want to move forward, we've got a couple of links for you down below in the notes. So one link is if you're in California and you want to participate in the program that I just described to you. Another link is for those of you that are outside of California. Okay, so you can click on that link. And then we have a code, which I'm going to show you right here on the screen, which allows you to take $100 off your startup fee. So definitely click on those links to move forward. So everybody, thanks a lot for watching. This is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy wishing you a fantastic day. If you have not subscribed yet to this YouTube channel, by all means do. If you're a driver, just sign up. This is it. Join our team, get all the latest news, get notified when there's a, like a live a YouTube Q&A session with Harry the Rideshare Guy. I might be on one of those coming up as well. So it's all good. Sign up, subscribe, give us a like, give us a comment. Love to hear from you. Y'all go out and have a great day. Bye-bye. Be safe.